Hello again, you wonderful lot. Uh, I haven't put a video up in a while. I've been a bit busy and a bit disheartened to be honest because I've had a problem with a couple of bolts as mentioned in my previous video. And as you can see, that is what I'm left with. And the reason for that is I went through the procedure of drilling the bolt out and trying to use an easy out to remove the rusty bolt and the bastard easy out fucking snapped on me so yes uh, if anyone knows what an easy out is um, you know they're hard and you can't drill through them so I had a right nightmare trying to get that out so I've got to do a repair on that before I go any further and well, all I can say is my old man told me not to trust in them and I went against his judgement and tried it and it made me cause me more work so hence why I'm now left with that which I've got to repair so easy outs, fuck you, you shit if you're gonna do any sort of bolt removal or snap bolt removal just drill it out that's all I recommend. Drill it out. Don't bother using the easy out, especially on a rusty bolt. It's just gonna snap it. So yeah. So word of advice for the day: if your old man or someone who's had a lot more experience, experience than you tells you not to do something, don't fucking do it. Oh, right. Anyway, back to the task in hand. I'll get that sorted out in the next couple of days so I can get the water pump put back in um, for anyone who's interested this video is for the all feed and return lines on your turbo one UZ there are probably a lot better ways to do it but this is the method that I've done which I've found to be the easiest so for example the pickup as you can see there on the oil filter housing that comes from the block there are actually two bunks the top one and the lower one I have, a, I have previously mentioned this in my video but the top one is the flow from the water pump into the filter forget about sandwich plate for a minute because you might not have sandwich plate but flow from the oil pump into the filter and then it goes through and comes out and this is obviously the filtered oil going back to feed the engine so as you can see there were there was two bungs in there i've taken this one out also i've briefly previously mentioned they are an m16 by 1.5 pitch and all i'm going to do all i've done shall I say is acquired an M16 by 1.5 adapter to a AN4 I've just put some tape on the end just to stop any muck going in there with a Viton o-ring that's better view that's better picture a Viton o-ring um, Viton o-ring size is oh I'll get there in a minute it is a 12 mil by three millimeter cross section thickness and that will screw directly into that like so so that is your feed taken care of and as for your return a lot of people do like to go down the side of the block and where the oil sensor is down the side there it's hard to see because obviously i've got the exhaust manifold in the way but there is a point there some people make an adapter or you can buy an adapter to get an oil feed return there um i opted against that because where i'm running a whole set um people who know whole sets know that they need a quite substantial drain with as little uh, how do I put it well the you want pretty much 
a straight directional down sort of flow so uh, with a quite sized pipe um, they do recommend 17 to 19 mil I've actually got an 18 mil adapter which basically is the standard Garrett drain which I have cut the original AN12 fitting off and I've tapped it uh, with a, a half inch uh, BSP tap uh, with some thread seal to accommodate obviously the little hose outlet and these are really really good they're cheap they're easy to put in I think this was only a pound or one pound and nine P um, so yeah stainless steel cheap as chips so one of these obviously modified to go into there and then again same again it goes down and I've actually drilled into the sump um, uh, tapped it obviously and and put the same fitting in that hole so as you can see now I've got a nice direct flow down now let's put that down let's see if I can get this bit of a shot come on camera focus when it focus oh, well anyway so you can tell that's roughly where my turbocharger sits there so I've got a direct directional flow straight down into the sump as so now on the um, front sump one UZ that will probably be a lot easier to to tap into but on a rear sump obviously you haven't got that much material there but you have got enough to get in there tap it and thread your fitting in and um, that should be sufficient so there we go so that's the oil and drain feed and drain taken care of and my camera is causing me havoc today uh, will it? no, oh well let's see if I can get his asset, that's better so yeah, that's the feed and drain for the turbocharger obviously I'll give you more updates uh, anyone willing to know if you damage this o-ring when taking your water pump off uh, go with a 2.5 mil cross section by 18 millimeter Vitton o-ring uh, I do recommend any o-rings you replace go with Vitton o-rings um, obviously they are far superior than your standard run-of-the-mill o-rings which will just perish um, so yeah that's the update as so far again got some cleaning up to do and sort out that bastard there but what I think I'll do with that is I'll obviously I'll backfill it and then um, I have actually got I'd say ooh, three eight nine mil something along them lines of meat at the back here so worst case scenario if i sort of backfill this and when i refit the pump and use it as a guide to drill through again i may measure and try to go through as far as i can and get into that fresh bit of meat at the back there just to give it some security into the original part of the block um, I'll cover that in another video though when I get round to it and yeah anything new to report no I think that's about it for today so I shall just go along the day and start tightening up a few bits and pieces and uh, go from there manifold still looking nice and clean and tidy same as the cam covers so yeah not all bad this view looks pretty good this view looks fucking appalling but there we go right ladies and gents see you shortly just another quick update I got the 
uh, battery relocated fully now to behind the passenger seat um, using the retro strap as I previously said uh, made a another terminal just to connect the oh well the battery cable I can't remember the size off the top of my head uh, 70 70 millimeters squared I do believe the cable is it works out as a zero zero slash four gauge uh, cable so I've got that all connected up to my 300 amp breaker a solid brass strap from the positive to the breaker and then obviously to the power cable so if in the unfortunate event I get any shorts uh, at least that will trip off rather than cause any other unwanted problems and yeah nice and simple just a ratchet strap all the way around the bottom through the top just to hold that in place and that's a solid so that ain't going nowhere so nice and neat we'll have to get a new battery because I think that one's shot anyway so um, yeah I'll get a new one when uh, when the time comes and now just have a tidy up inside but there we are one homemade battery tray and support bracket terminals etc etc so nice and easy I think the total cost came to well I think the breaker was I think something like eight or nine pounds ratchet strap was a couple of quid uh, the aluminium was just uh, scrap parts that I had left over if you look on the old ePay they do sell like off cut sort of kits well kits no off cut sort of sections that they just sell to you quite cheap so it's worthwhile getting a few of them if you like making all your own stuff um, yes the power cable is close to the earth but it's obviously insulated by the normal cable into my brass terminal and then um, it's got a heat wrap over it then it's got the conduit over the top of that and then another lot of heat shrink so uh, shouldn't have any issues with that and if it does start to rub which it doesn't look like it's going to rub anytime soon but if it does rub in the future it's got a lot to rub through to get to the to the inside of the cable so I think that's pretty much job done for that I'm happy with it just get a new battery tidy up and that's that any questions feel free to ask and uh, I'll answer them more I'll post up another video if it's easier for any other bits and pieces we have started to make a cover to cover the ABS pump and some bits and pieces up in the corner there yeah so um, yeah quite nice and easy make a template the shape you want transfer that onto your aluminium cut it bend it obviously this is the next part I've bent that bit round there ready to receive this bit once I cut it and um, I probably will just end up just brazing that round and I'll finish it off nice and neat may put a few holes in it scribe Scribe a name in it I'll wait and see but I'll give you a full video on that another time but that's it for the day and uh, I'll see you next time